And turning to Gaza now, where an Israeli airstrike on Al Nusaydah refugee camp has killed 13 members of one family, seven of them children. The bombs destroyed a three-story building. Civil defense crews are searching for bodies under the rubble. And several people are being treated for internal injuries and head wounds as a result of a separate attack which killed two women. Hani Mahmoud reports from a funeral in Deir al-Bala in central Gaza. An old familiar scene that has started to dominate the area here at the Laqsa Hospital. The courtyard of the hospital turned into a stage for a funeral. This crowd here is from the surviving family members who were attacked last night in a Nusayrat refugee camp. 13 people were killed, seven of them were children. The bodies that you see on the ground right here, if you count the bodies, we said 13 of them, but seven of them, those are the children who were turned into pieces and were brought to the hospital in, in plastic bags and in, in coolers, they were put all together. So one of these body bags has the bodies of, of two or three people right on the floor, uh, on the ground of, of Al-Aqsa Hospital and right now what they are doing, the, after performing the prayer and bidding farewell, these bodies will be loaded into the truck and taken to their final resting place here in Deir al-Balah city. As you see, collapsed fathers, crying mothers, crying mothers here. The tragedy of death that has been happening over and over every single day. I, I, we, we, we don't recall a day going by without watching this scene happening right here at the courtyard of the hospital. More sadness, more tragedies keep unfolding as the Israeli military continues to pound more families and deliberately targeting families inside their residential homes. To the presidents, to the leaders, and to the nation, I want to say that this is the aim of the Israeli occupation. These are the Israeli targets. Our children are being killed and cut into pieces. Our women are being killed and torn apart. We are facing genocide for a whole year. It's not only the Eldora family, it's the entire Palestinian people who are being killed and exterminated. How long will the world give us a deaf ear? Until when is the world going to stay silent without any response to the occupation's crimes? They were targeted by missiles while they were sleeping. They were burned while they were sleeping. There were defenseless civilian displaced people. Taken it from the ground here and loaded to this truck. Uh, and they will be taken to a final resting place here in Deir al city. And as we were told, there are no space available at the graveyard where they're taken. And so some of these bodies are going to be buried inside other graveyards with other family members in the, uh, uh, with other family members who were killed in the past or throughout, throughout this genocide. Where you see it's a chaotic scene right here where surviving family members are still at shock and at all of what happened. These people were sleeping inside their homes when it was attacked by a relentless airstrike that destroyed the whole building, a three-story building. As you see here, remaining surviving family members are following the truck here, uh, bidding farewell for family members who were killed. And what we're seeing here is the, the mothers and the women who are still here are in shock, are in awe, and in disbelief of what happened to them and to their family members. This tragedy keeps unfolding on daily basis to the point it is started to be a daily routine for the already displaced and the traumatized families across the central area of the Gaza Strip. Hani Mahmoud from Al-Aqsa Hospital in Deir al-Balah City, Palestine. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.